going on. Didn't break the Cypher cam yet, though. Shadow was surely mini-map moment there, because he was absolutely befuddled. And this late-stage aggression, as you noted, that little B-main kind of re-aggress, that space-taking, that reaction to losing Heaven Control, opens up so much of an avenue. And look at the position that Koi have to work with. They need to fight back for some space. Be it CT, be it main, they need a little something. They don't have Heaven, so they've opted for CT. Looking like this is the challenge they're after, but it's already being considered. You can see the positioning coming out from Yampi. Perfect consideration and a great bit of work from Yampi there. This is stunning stock, so a great player himself, but way too many numbers. Josh, that Already see the drift coming through from Yampi as well, considering is it time to now put a lot more stock into this, and it looks like that may be the case. Again, caution being aired by Koi. Nat's plate, oh my god. What just happened? Camo's gonna find two, and that is a fumble Five and a half. And it's rare to see that from Nats. Really unexpected. Enzo is almost played out of this round. It's gonna require a 1v3. Incredibly difficult. Plant being put down now. Grabino just lost somewhere in the map, basically. He can't pin these players down. It's time to look for a save here. It's not with them right now. The rifle was trying to, trying to solo the B site. So here comes the A hit. Do they get any benefits? Camo already going to clear Mystic. There are still two players here. Another spotted and another taken down. The gamble stack not really working out. As they did lose Enzo in the meantime. So that's a rifle gone and cleared cleanly. Koi coming through. This should force Camo away. Spike give away the game, but it does eventually fall back. It should be the springboard towards the site. Koi has the breach ulti, though, for this post plan. And that's going to be really scary for a Liquid. They know that as soon as they start trying to do something, it's going to come out. They can't all get caught by it. Looking at where Shadow's placing, it looks towards heaven. First bit of contact comes in, but Koi clearing house, still leaving a couple of players here to capitalize on the ult. By the time, yes, Mystic wins out, but they're already down to two. One being the operator looks like another round the Liquid are going to have to fall away from. You're going to over-rotate, over-react to the other site, and then we're going to be able to like walk into a free site. Yep. And even if this gets messy again, keep in mind the finances behind Koi are very robust. Yes, Liquid will take it, but remaining. Uh, it's not really, yeah, gonna matter in this point. Koi, comfortable. Okay. That's last time. Didn't have a great start into this. Gonna need him to do a little better here. Normally noted for it. Enzo already falling. Isolates. It leaves. Nats on Island. Does have support from Spike CT and a great a. shot. Going to alleviate some of that pressure coming through, but now Nats goes re-exploring. This time he's got it. Clears out Camo and now controls the space. Spike now left in a bit of a predicament as well. But again, look at this positioning from Koi. They're in CT. This could be a re-clear. It's, it's almost a switch of sides at this point. Maybe, you know, no paranoia to play with. Maybe waiting on the smoke to come back around here and just pausing for a second. TP. Yeah, I think he was going to grab the uh, spike with that. I don't think that was a good enough trade here. Now down to a 2v2. They've got to know that Nats were still around by sight. That's not a surprise. I don't know if they've had contact on Yampi yet. Probably. But what can Shadow and Shados do? One Nats goes remain. walking, gets a timing just right. Spike does go back to hand, but with 15 seconds, it's limited options here for Shadow and Yampi. Was catching the cross, and he catches the player. Liquid on either side of the map. So looking like they do want to put pressure towards mid. This should be... Drop it. Those moments and a missed shot. Camo gonna find it, and that's a problem now. Mid looking far more vulnerable. There, plenty more options. Had to use a little bit of utility to clear through, but they're still gonna be happy enough. And this is a problem. Yampi, oh. no way! Mystic went down, and Yampi survived. And maybe the survivor's guilt was enough. Eventually, Shadow's gonna find him, but it's Nats and Enzo with a late look through middle, and Shados all too aware of that, leaving Nats, who's normally on that A site, behind the curve. You don't need to have that much awareness to uh, oh, deal with someone dude. shooting like that, though. <laughs> Cruelty, Josh. 30 Cruelty. seconds left. Again, sights there's Nats can quietly come over here, but he's, he's, he's found. The pistol is paramount to their success, too. It'd be so hard to be so uphill, and Sarkso trying to be a little audacious at the beginning. Swings out and finds the pointy end of the stick. And again, Koi just being aggressive in this. I mean, they do have rounds to play with, and they have cleared one. But again, you look on the other side of the map, the spike should be going down. We are in a 3v3 here. Enzo's position, feast or famine, does he get what he wants from this? Do they even clear it? They're considering it. They absolutely do, but Enzo succeeds. Big work from Enzo there. Round that probably costs a couple of rounds, but it's like they're all kind of they're not really overheating except for that Yampi one round, for example. Uh, not the ideal start for Kiko there, looking to pressure towards heaven early, but they have managed to slip the net a touch. Yampi in a position deeper 
towards a cubby on the back of B, but again, let's see if Koi are even considering this. The paranoia just around the corner is actually going to clip towards Nats, but it plays in Yampi. A little bit of a surprise there, creeping up with the wall. Yampi again looking to regress. Nice timing from Mystic to swing. That's lovely coordination between the two, but it's still Shadow and Starzo. There is still pressure in this, and the two rifles up for grabs. They've got a couple of upgrades here as well. Mystic makes the most of his. This is ideal. This is a fantastic round. As Darkzo, his, his options are done here. I don't think you get to play back into this. No, when you're against a bonus round like this, and you're in a one for Versus three, you have to save that. You're out. You got to because you're gonna have enough people here. You're gonna have to see. Rino, this is a lot of pressure in your hands. You gotta find a little bit of value, and he does. Kiko goes down and he holds the line. Now they can start flooding back in from heaven. 13 seconds. Liquid leaving this so late in the day. But Mystic on the bailout. Nats on the follow up. They need a plant though, and they need it now. They gotta secure this. They gotta get it down. Spikes down, but so are the rest of the side. Nats the only one standing in a 1v1. All gonna come through looking like Quake. But already Starks are gonna reveal his position. Gonna drop on down, and now there's problems. Oh, Nats! You are filthy! So they're going to go back towards this A hit. But the problem is, look at Camus' position. I kind of like this. Going late lurking, but again, Nats yep. gets rewarded. That's better. That's what he wanted probably in the previous round, but this patience pays. And now they're rewarded towards heaven. There's one player on the site. How much damage can one man do? These late round hits now yeah, starting to become a factor. Shadow trying to buy the time, but gets cleared. They should be fine on the plant. There shouldn't be anything to threaten this. The pit drops in middle. Everything looking good here for Liquid now. They've stabilized. And from Koi? Potentially. Potentially. Does Sarkso get to live? No. Oof. No is the question. It was a very quick execution. Now Heaven's being flooded. Good Why? damage, but no kill. Again, Nat's getting maybe a little ahead of himself there. Maybe didn't need to take that fight individually. A deeper pit from Yampi, please. please. He, he waited for it to come up before he peeked. Okay. There we go. We're, we're, <laughs> we, we're, we we're changing, we're learning, we're growing. Mystic waiting as well. There is a very clear choke point. Now they're going to force the hand to make them go through heaven. And look at the space being taken behind them. I like this. Right Sticking there. Yampi considering it. Spray comes in, but it's not going to come next. And so now they've got to try and take that space back from heaven. They're going to fly towards the side. Actually, Kalo doing really well. Clears through. Ult comes in. May not be pretty, but it gets the job done. Shadow and Shados not in a position to do wonders. Yampi go and walkabouts. Expecting the unexpected. Shados down on 10 HP. Miracles aren't happening. And Team Liquid. And then kind of... <laughs> That's a, that's a throwback to about four people, remember? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that one. No, I think everyone remembers. No one forgets that. Do you think so? That iconic. Well... <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a help sewer moment there, kind of. <laughs> Let's see if Starks can get value for this ult, though, right? Like, hindered at the start. Is anyone there to capitalize on this, though? I mean, a little bit of information, but closing that gap, what are you going to do with it? Where's, where is the value of this? Like, it's, it's... There's three people on the site, though. <laughs> Guys, they're on the side that they've planted at. <laughs> Enzo, uh, yeah, there, there has been no ability to close down on this ult. Enzo is going to be under a lot of pressure, but it plays in Mystic. Does very well here. Bails out Enzo to get away and then re-aggress. Goes back for more and can't make the most of it. Shadow levies this down to a 2v3, favorable to Koi. The HP is low. It's on Nats now, and that's good. He needs more, though. Knows the stars up there. He's got such a good read on it. Trying to toy with him, but now time is a problem. Six bullets to play with. Oh my word! And he's done it. He forced Shadow off the spike, and that's just needs to play this properly. And oh my wait! Did he go too early? No, he didn't. That plays it to the second. Enough, but again, they've already got side control. That should be telling in itself. And this is again coming back to the limitations of Koi's defense. Because of their composition, you know, they let Liquid walk into B site for free. And now they're all the way deep in spawn. And they're jamming oh, this. They're jamming the retake. There's no chance for Koi. Yeah, offsetting that timing. Yampi pressuring back through was just gorgeous. Where are you off to? It's, it's last round. This might be you off funny. to. There's nowhere to run. You got to face it. 13 to 9. Team Liquid. You know what? First half may have given you worry, but that second.